The usual, sir. Please. Even after 500 plays, our high fidelity tape still delivers high fidelity. <laughs> It's worth it. Our high fidelity tape still delivers. Do you recognize this tune? What is it about this piece that makes it so memorable? The main tune, in Wagnerian terms, the lay motif, had a forceful feel that was excellent for portraying a sturdy product that could fill a room with sound. Richard Wagner was a German composer who is known today for his innovations in composing operas. This piece, The Ride of the Valkyries, has gained a great deal of popularity since the late 19th century and continues to be a well-recognized work of art. Wagner's innovations in musical and dramatic performance are the source of his timeless recognition and have inspired others to create their own interpretations. Wagner wrote this musical composition in German epic poem with the belief that drama and music went hand in hand. This idea of music and the dramatic plot being interrelated is termed Gesamtkunstwerk, or the complete artwork. Wagner created many of his works, including The Ride of the Valkyries, based on leading motives, or leitmotifs. This term refers to a melody attached to a dramatic person, a place, thing, or idea and is often repeated in order to conjure up images and feelings in the viewer. These principles, including the union of music and drama, as well as Wagner's use of leitmotifs, provide the listener with a memorable piece of work from which one can create images and associate certain feelings and scenes. This film, in which the Ride of the Valkyries is played, is titled Birth of a Nation. Here, the lay motif is associated with the KKK riding through the streets. The producers of this film chose to omit the operatic voices from Wagner's original piece, removing the instrumental portion from the voice. As a result, the brass section is highlighted. Wagner's creation of the Wagner tuba also added to the richer sound of the orchestra. Today, the Wagner tuba is known as the French horn.
This film, titled Apocalypse Now, includes the operatic voices from the original piece. The impressive octave jumps contribute to the virtuosic feel of the music and create a sense of urgency in the movie. The sounds work in this film as they contribute to the seriousness of the battle scene and the danger associated with the attack. In a completely different context, the ride of the Valkyries was used to enhance the famous television cartoon, Bugs Bunny. This episode was created as a spoof of the original plot. Out of the examples thus far, the composition was altered the most in this piece to incorporate the sound effects for the cartoon animation. Fighting stock. Might I inquire to ask him what's up, Doc? I'm going to kill the wabbit. Almighty Hunter, it will be quite a task. How will you do it? Might I inquire to ask? I will do it with my spear and magic helmet. Your spear and magic helmet. Spear and magic helmet. Magic helmet. Magic helmet. Magic helmet. Yes, magic helmet. And I'll give you a sample. Valkyries was adapted for the comedy film The Blue Brothers. The comedic lines and the slapstick humor downplay the drastic sounds and negative connotations of the piece. As the neo Nazis plummet off of the bridge at the end of the scene, the filmmakers cleverly set the scene to the part of the piece that descends chromatically. I've always loved you. 